great. I'm good. How Thanks are you for doing? being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, and you know, the beard, I have not experienced uh, the Jake Gyllenhaal beard effect yet. Is this uh... <laughs> Wow, that's nice. That's wow. Ladies and two guys liked it. Uh, <laughs> what um, I saw you. Uh, do you, do you, do you like, like it? Do you, you like it? Do you? Yeah, like, I, 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 uh, I think it looks good. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you. I like how you had to drag that out of me. <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to go for that kind of like you know, people think I smell bad when they watch me on TV, but actually I smell good kind of look. Do you know that, that look? Oh, you mean because it looks a little like you might be a guy that takes a bath once every two yeah. weeks and yeah. yeah. But yeah. really, uh, yeah, you have three or four times a day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. You, have a very, you have a very pleasant. Do you want to smell it? Uh, the odor alert is going off now. <laughs> <laughs> or Jake Gyllenhaal's yeah, beard. Yeah, 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 exactly. Excuse me, attention, attention. Jake Gyllenhaal's beard has a smell. Uh, <laughs> Well, thanks for being here, and thanks it does look me. good. That's the important thing. It's thanks. how we look, not who we are. Um, Remember that. <laughs> I'm serious. It's true. It is more important. Yeah, uh, someone told me, I'm from the Boston yeah. area, of course, and, and yeah. so I'm a Red Sox fan. Someone told me that you were at the Red Sox game Yeah. Uh, what? just the other day. I'm a Red Sox fan, yeah. You are? I am. Yeah. I forgot for a second where we taped this I'm... show. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Wrong city. Uh, I'm going for old school Johnny Damon right now, can't you? It looks Joe? cool, yeah. Thanks, yeah it does look good. Doing that. Do, well, I mean, okay, so uh, a few questions. Yeah. You go to the game. Yeah. You, you went with friends of yours I went who were with also... some friends of mine who are actually very, you know, huge Red Sox fans, like, like die hard. Like they, were bo like they came out of the womb and like a Red Sox like, cap was put on their head. Yeah. You know? And then they stopped crying, like that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <And> then, ah. <laughs> Uh, wow. Yeah, uh, like, like, but also, like, you know, particularly my, my one friend is, like, an avid Red Sox fan. And so he, you know, he's a pretty tough, like, pretty quiet guy, and, but he's a huge Red Sox fan. And he brought a glove along, and he asked me, actually, to, to get us tickets in the Green Monster, because he wanted... Can, when I was growing up, you couldn't sit there, but now you can sit on top oh, of the amazing. Green Monster, and people want to catch a ball when yeah. you're up there. I mean, he wanted to go to batting practice, and he, he like, brought the glove, and he was, he was diehard. Right. He wanted to catch a ball really badly. So we went up there. It's amazing up there. It's incredible. I urge everybody who is half the audience who's a Red Sox fan to go and try and go up there. Right. But so we, we go there, and, uh, and about into the sixth inning, well, I told him, like, maybe we'd catch a ball. I don't know, maybe. You never know. Yeah, the odds sixth are probably inning. pretty slim. Yeah. yeah, but the sixth inning, David Ortiz comes up, and he hits a ball, right? And you know how it happens. It's like 500 feet away, and it looks like it's coming towards you. And he, I have to explain this. He's a very, you know, he's a, he's a tough guy. You know, he doesn't really care that right. much about stuff. But that ball started coming towards us, and let me show you what he did. Okay. He went like this. I think that's coming towards us. <laughs> and I said, it I, looks like it. He said, I think it. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> like that. I swear to God. I swear to God. Now here's the thing. There that is. That's a, that is. That is a yeah, clip yeah. on YouTube right now. Yeah, yeah. That's now, all it is. Yeah. They're right just gonna there. show you doing this. that. Yeah, uh, I know. What, I um, where did it? Did it come near you? Uh, basically, what happened was it landed. I'll tell you the truth. It landed probably halfway, like from the wall to the to the end of the Green Monster, which is about 100 feet right. from us. Right. But he was convinced he had caught it. For like. <laughs> I swear to God, he leaned over and he went and he went like, I got it, I got it, for three minutes. He was like he's a little hundred, girl he's a hundred, for three minutes. He's a hundred feet off. Not yeah. even close. Yeah. Like, so what did you close. say to him? I said, you don't have the ball in your glove, man. Yeah. And he was like, it's there. <laughs> I swear, I'm telling you, it's, it's there. there. Yeah. And I said, it's not there, man. Seriously. And yeah. then I was like, I was I was about to call the 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 cops because yeah. it was scary for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For three minutes, he was convinced Then finally, it was there. did he open the glove and see it wasn't there? And then the rest of the game, he was like, I swear to God, if I had just leaned over a little bit more, I could have caught it. I could have caught it, man. I swear to God. Yeah. And if you had lowered him on a rope. Yeah. He was calling friends. He was calling friends. He was saying to them, he was like, did you see how far that ball was? Was I close? Was I anywhere near it? Yeah. And everyone was like, we didn't. It was like the widest shot we've ever seen. We didn't even know where the ball went. <laughs> We weren't sure who was playing. The shot was so wide. So that was that was a red. Now, Sox. okay. So there you were in Boston. I understand as part of your part of your job to promote the work that you do is to travel the world and talk about the films that you're in. Yeah. Of all the places you've been, what's your favorite? You think favorite place to visit? Uh, well, I, I like I like Japan. You I like, like Japan. I like Japan because everybody thinks I'm funny there. <laughs> really? Yeah, because you know anything you say, they're like. Oh. Seriously, anything, anything you, you say. Yeah, literally, it'd be like, oh well, you know, I'm making a movie and it's about, you know, torture. And like, oh! <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. We are going to Japan, Jeff. 
<laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Conor O'Brien. <laughs> Not much to talk about tonight. <laughs> Sarah, it's incredible. That would be great. It's I would love that. Such a good feeling. Yeah, I'm telling you. Anything I'm going there immediately. Yeah. Now uh, I know you you you're you're promoting this film now, but you took a little time off, didn't you? You didn't work for how long? Did you not work for? Mm, like six months or so. Six months. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm just curious. If you don't work for six months, yeah. I would think. I know that if I didn't work for six months, I would it, I would start to get a little loopy, mm -hmm. just because uh, my job. Kind of keeps me grounded a little bit. I'm going to say there are a lot. There are actually a lot of people who don't work for for six months. But oh, really? Yeah. Okay. In the entertainment business, yeah. you go loopy. Yeah. And yeah. what happens? So you start to like. What kind of things do you start like building model kites and, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, painting little Hummel figurines <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I'm killing. <laughs> I, uh, I, you know that, you know what, I can liken it only to basically to one, to one song. Do you know, I, I don't know why, like the song, you know the Gnarls Barkley song, that, does that make me crazy? Do yeah, you know it was I mean? a big hit. When uh, you're out there without care, you know, when you're out of touch, it wasn't because I didn't know, does that make me crazy? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously, feel for a second what it's like to be me for six months sure. unemployed. Try it. Does that make me, does it make me crazy? That's, that's what it feels like. That's actually what it feels like. Wow. Does that make me? Crazy! Yeah, that's what it feels like. Wow. See, I How would does just that start, feel? That feels, uh, yeah, I feel strange doing that, yeah. yeah. Now, strange. now I understand what it's like yeah. to not work for six that's months. That's why I'm going back to work soon. Because <laughs> you were singing that song 24-7. Yeah. Yes, I was. Uh, now, let's talk about rendition. Uh, there's no way around the fact this is, this movie has, uh, is dealing with some grim subject matter, mm -hmm. this film. Yes. And, uh, and we have, we're going to show a clip here. I think this is a clip where you're uh, working with the <clears throat> amazing Meryl Streep. Yes, uh, it's our and, one scene together in the movie. And um, can you tell us, any, anything you can tell the audience, just set, help them appreciate uh, what's going on in this film? This is a scene where uh, Meryl is the head of the security agency that's dealing with the interrogation of this suspect, this, mm -hmm. this terror suspect. And, uh, and she's basically saying to me, um, you know, she says, this is our conversation. And Fawal, Abbasi Fawal, who's the man who's the torturing, person who's torturing is, uh, is the man, the name that we talk about in here. You need to know that background. And also, us. you're being asked to torture someone and it's not what you got into this business, this covert business to do. I play and a CIA analyst and uh, who is no field work at all. And right. then because there's a suicide bombing, I'm put into the position of having to observe a, uh, a rendition. Yeah. Which is essentially a, a euphemism for, you know, watching somebody get tortured to illicit information from them. All right, let's take a look at this uh, clip from Rendition. I don't think that he has any helpful information. Really? Well, I'm told otherwise. I understand that. Is your opinion shared by Mr. Fawal? Uh, Mr. Fawal doesn't care if he gets information. He, 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 he'll just keep trying to get information. Whether he gets any information. Is this sure opinion not. shared by Mr. Fawal? No. No. I see. You're new to this, aren't you? This is my first torture. That's a heavy line. This is my first torture. I actually, like, yeah. I mean, I did the movie because yeah. of that line. That's my favorite. That, that line is one. I love that line. Uh, well, Rendition uh, opens in theaters uh, this Friday. Jake, always great seeing you. Thanks Thank you so for, for making time for us. Jake Gyllenhaal, Christina Hendricks coming up to take a break. We'll be right back.